Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Breakfast of Champions. Champions. We oh, are... I think that's copyrighted. Sorry. No, I put an S at the end. No. Like I... it's dun 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 dun. Yeah, the corporation, dun, 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 the corporation dun, 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 dun. owns every variation at this point. Sorry. Yeah. It's Walmart actually probably. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. I won't even go on. I won't even say this. You don't need to. I gave you gold. All right. right. <laughs> we are we are joined once again by Matt Zion from Reckless Eating, and we're going to do something. Uh, these have actually been out for I think a couple of years. Now, yeah. Right. So uh, these are Dunkin', not Dunkin' Donuts anymore. Now officially incorporated Dunkin' uh, Caramel Macchiato. Now the thing about Dunkin' is um, some people will will argue with me and say say Dunkin' Donuts Donuts are terrible. Their coffee's terrible. But there's no argument. They're right. Um, yeah, it, it used to be good. It used yeah. to be good because every Dunkin, do, every Dunkin' Donuts used to make their own donuts, and no, now no. they go with the central okay. distribution system. So they're, they're not that great. Their food is good, or it's, it's hit or miss. But okay. every once in a while, though, if you like, if it's perfect for just a drive through, if you're gonna drive through and just get like a quick breakfast item or a bag of bacon, they're fine. Uh, I, the bag of bacon was one of the better things I reviewed, actually. Yeah. But yeah, but their donuts, like compared to Krispy Kreme, Krispy Kreme is just blows them away. But that's because Krispy Kreme makes their donuts there, and Dunkin' apparently does not. Yeah, you can actually watch the donuts being made, yeah. and as you watch the donuts being made at Krispy Kreme, it makes you go, "Do I want to eat this now?" Yeah. Well, I mean, I still think Krispy Kreme donuts are awesome. I'm not even. I don't even like donuts that much anymore. They're only but awesome if you Krispy eat them right off the line. No, I mean, I disagree. I think a Krispy Kreme is a pretty good donut overall. I could even like have it, you know, put it, put them in a bag for like an hour or whatever, do a drive and then eat them, still fine to me, no problem. So, so uh, I think uh, Dunkin's missed the boat a little bit because, you know, you, they should have made, maybe made them donut flavored as well. Yeah. But this is caramel macchiato, uh, caramel macchiato flavor. Yeah. So the question is, is, uh, is it going to actually taste like caramel macchiato? So here's what, here's what we did. Um, I got caramel macchiatos for us. And so let's take a, before we try that cereal, let's take a sip of this. I have another and coffee for everyone. Also, I did review this a year ago and I don't remember what I thought. So, Good. yeah, I have no idea. Oh, that's coffee. Yeah. It is. It's kind of a weird taste. I just don't like coffee though. I'm not a big fan of caramel. At least it's a little sweet, like there's a little bit in there that's yeah. good, but like uh, my girlfriend just does straight black coffee. It's really And it's sweet. disgusting. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. It's so bitter and gross. Okay, all right, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's try some. So we'll, we'll put it in the bowl, try some dry first, then we'll add a little bit of milk. That's how I used we'll to eat it milk. as a kid. I was all, about the, all about the dry cereal. Yeah. yeah. Everybody would always make fun of me. It's like, it's a delicious snack. It's just sugar. <laughs> what bug. is that? It's a bug. <laughs> My second born would do that too. All right, get a little bit of everything. No, you definitely can't have this. Sorry, dudes. That's his name now. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a spoon. What are you, a heathen? Yeah, because I know where I've been. Oh, okay. Yeah. What a spoon for dry cereal. How do you think it compares to the uh, caramel macchiato? This is way better. I'd rather eat this than drink that. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> well, that has kind of a weird <clears throat> taste, but... I think I remember us not being all that impressed with them. Does this have caffeine? Oh, it, this is made with Dunkin' Donut coffee, so the coffee mm, I don't, does... I don't think it's going to be caffeine in it, though. Well, it's made with coffee, right? I or can't, does, does caffeine cook out? I can't imagine that they're going to put caffeine in a cereal that kids are going to potentially eat. That seems, that seems like a disastrous idea. Okay, so let's try it with, as Matt would say, some milk. Yeah, milk. No, you said milk. Yeah, milk. Wow. That's what I always say. Mm, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what is with this? That whole milk, milk debate is so funny to me because like, they're both so similar that who cares? But I, but people always call it out like it's like, like I'm getting like Jesus existing versus not existing wrong. Is that the only amount of milk you're gonna put in there? Yes. What? Well, you gotta drown it. Nope. Doodle. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> he started oh. eating out of my bowl. He got some. I hope you like that doodle. Oh, I, hope, wow. I hope it doesn't kill you. What a heathen. The best part is drinking the milk after you're done. Uh, well, we, we might ruin that for you then. It's so dry. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me the bare minimum. <laughs> that improves it a little bit. I, I, I'm sorry. It doesn't really improve it, but it really makes it taste more like a drink, right? More like a, a, a drink version of a cereal. Yeah, but like, I gotta ask this. Who the hell wants to eat cereal and think of coffee? 
But see, so you'd have to be a coffee alcoholic. Which I am. It does have coffee. that flavor, but you know, I think it just needs more of that flavor. Feel free to drown it. Ruining, ruining delicious ass milk. <laughs> oh, and, well, especially this milk. This is gonna be disgusting. Well, that stuff's probably good, I imagine. Yeah. It's the good stuff. Let's try this now. Ugh. This is what psychos do. <laughs> this, is, this is like Wall Street. They do a, they do a line right. of coke and then they... <laughs> Alright, time to ruin this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. God. What oh, the hell God. happened? That is horrible. What happened? <laughs> Here, here's the thing. This is Duncan Caramel, Caramel Macchiato cereal, right? So... So the question, I mean, the thing is, you, th you think, oh, I'm going to actually put Dunkin' Caramel Macchiato no, nobody, on no, the cereal. No, 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 it's going to no, no. taste like Hold that. on, hold on. Nobody has ever thought that in the history of the planet, and you know it. Well, that's that's what makes it unique. You're literally the only one. <laughs> no, I'm done. It made it instantly mushy, too. Like, it did not hold up at all, texture-wise. But it also added this bitter taste. Yeah, the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the coffee. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, it brings out the worst of the coffee. I That's think not good. It's like it, it, it destroys the cereal, destroys the, anything that was good about the coffee. You don't even taste a little bit of sweetness that was in the coffee. No, it's, it's done. Yeah, no, yeah. big thumbs down. That's absolutely vile. All right, so the cereal by itself with no milk. Oh, uh, it's average. Average no. uh, cereal with milk. Uh, it's still average. It's fine. Okay, yeah, and then uh, cereal with yeah, a caramel. Thumbs down. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna agree with you and everything. The cereal is cut. Um, well, I mean, as far as cereals go, maybe maybe slightly, the thumbs slightly up. It's a little, it's better than some, you know, basic cereals and everything. Um, but once you put the caramel macchiato, that's thumbs down. That coffee is thumbs down too, though. That's yeah. not good. Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. They it's... never should have changed so, their name. So can you imagine, it's like Dunkin' Donuts. We taste just like caramel macchiato. Uh, I'm not wait, buying that. Uh, I'm not wait, buying that. Wait, wait a minute, you said Dunkin' Donuts. Ah, that's right. Dunkin'. I hate that. I'm sorry, they're Dunkin' Donuts. There's nothing they can do to get around that. They can call themselves Dunkin' all they want. They are Dunkin' Donuts. Dude, I grew up in New England. For us, it's Dunkies. It'll always be Dunkies. Okay, I've known about that one, but yeah. maybe uh, the FBI should investigate that term. <laughs> Dunkies. Yeah, but like, every single person I've ever talked to still calls it Dunkin' Donuts. And they always will, so I don't understand. Like, I get they wanted to get away from donuts, but that's what you're known for. Like, that, it's like... What were they, I don't understand. They spent all that money to do that rebranding and nobody is ever gonna stop calling them Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Workers. All right, well, we gave it a try. If you decide you wanna do the same thing, maybe not put the caramel macchiato in it. Yeah, no, I would yeah. suggest But that. you know, that's, uh, you know, we science here, so. You know. What if uh, Krispy Kreme just changes their name to Krispy or Cream and that's it? That's, that would be disturbing. Yeah, creamed. Yeah. I want that, you yeah. do that, cool. Even just crispy, I would think they would start serving chicken. Chicken flavored donuts. I, well, I bet that would be good. Chicken flavored donuts. I think that. Well, yeah. not flavored. Just put some chicken in there. Chicken, yeah, chicken donuts. Sure. Yeah. Oh, like artificial chicken flavored. Well, yeah, I agree. Anyways, uh, we gave it a shot. Uh, we're also going to be doing some uh, some cereal uh, on my channel, on, on his channel, uh, on we're doing the Wendy's Frosty Chocolatey cereal. So we will have a link for that down below. Be sure to check that out. Be sure to also uh, go to their channel, subscribe, like. Ring the bell, the whole, the whole nine yards. Or find Freak Eating and leave a comment on a video and say, Matt told me to tell you that you're a beautiful woman and you should let your bosoms out. That'll work too. Okay, good. No, I'm going to get a text from Natter. <laughs> but be careful out there because it's crazy. So please take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.